Louisiana beer reviews. Let's at Schwartz beer, German style black lager from Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. 5.1% alcohol. The website says 5.2, but I'm going to go with the bottle because the bottle says 5.1. It could have been what it was when this batch was made. <clears throat> Lexington, Virginia. Okay, so I know where I bought this one. I bought this one last month, July 2014 last month as of, as of the recording time. I mean, you might be watching this in 2019, but uh, anyway, uh, at uh, I bought this at Kroger grocery store in Bristol, Virginia. They had a make your own six pack. And I was on a road trip and I was buying beers here and there. 5.2% alcohol, 18 IBUs. It was introduced in who knows when because the website is very unhelpful as far as the history. It's a very good score on Beer Advocate. Bros haven't looked at it. 86 out of 100 on Rapier and a 94 out of 100 for the style. Um, Schwartz beer, that means black beer, black lager from a style that started in Germany. I've had a lot of different Schwartz beers. Um, made a nice hiss. Um, the one that kind of sticks in my mind is that Monkshoff Schwartz beer that I had. That, ooh, look at all this smoke, it's incredible. Um, that I had on draft. I think you might be able to pick this smoke up. A lot of times it won't show, but I think this time pick it up. On draft at Volksfest at the New Orleans Deutsches House in 2012. <clears throat> Unfortunately, and that I think Monkshoff's only like 4% alcohol. I've never picked it up in a can or bottle, but I would like to. But And I didn't do a video review, I did a, a written review reviews of it, Monkshoff. Let's see how this stacks up to that. And the Monkshoff is actually from Germany. <clears throat> Thick um, cream colored head. It's very overcast today, but the sun is trying to peek through those clouds. Some bubbles, not really I could say bubble streams, but bubbles that are clinging to the side and releasing one at a time. It's a very dark brown appearance. There's lighter brown at the edges as the light catches it. The aroma, <clears throat> you know, it's typical for this style of beer. It's creamy, it's bready, and it's fairly roasted. The flavor, it's um, dark roasted barley malt, it's, uh, but it's not burned. My issue with the Samuel Adams uh, black lager was that I thought it tasted too burnt. Not to say I didn't like it, I mean I did like it, I do like it. Uh, the Shiner Black Lager, I can't remember what it's called, but it might just be Shiner Black Lager. That's a good one, if you want to try it, it's usually inexpensive. Um, you know, not even really dark roasted barley malt, sweetness, a mild bitterness, 18 IBUs, that sounds about right. It's mild and you would almost think it's not even 18. Uh, the mouthfeel is light to medium, more towards light. And the finish is very lager-like, crisp, clean, refreshing, and highly drinkable. Um, I think Devil's Backbone does a good job. The ones I've had from them have been enjoyable. I was glad. I'm. I was and am glad that I was able to go to Virginia. It's the western part of the state along U.S. Highway Route 11 and Interstate 81. But um, always, I always have uh, had some pretty good luck looking for beer brands in that Appalachian part of Virginia. Um, whether it be craft beer or the regional or regionally distributed macro lagers that you just can't find in other places like I bought Country Club malt liquor over there and that's nowhere around here from what I from what I know it's the closest you could get Country Club to Louisiana might be 600 miles 
600 miles. All right, but anyway, uh, I didn't drive up there just to get beer. I went to baseball games but um, and some other tourist stuff. But uh, this is good. It's not, like, notably great or anything like that. But uh, short spears tend not to be that dynamic. But... Um, Sometimes you get a little tired of dynamic, if that sounds possible. You just want to have something that's um, mellow, mild, easy drinking. And this does fit the bill. I think if everything was super dynamite and ultra bold and super strong, you, you might be liable to get sick of it. <clears throat> you might get sick of beer. Maybe. So, um... Yeah, this is really nice. Um, the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm liking it. Um, I was going to say B+, plus, but I think I have to go to A-. minus. It's in the excellent range, maybe the lower end of excellent, but it's the excellent range for sure. Uh, very enjoyable product. So, And it's a beautiful label. It's an odd label, but it's got it's like a stained glass window almost, you know, with this horse and everything on it. So probably never see any more devil I say probably I don't know I might see devil's backbone when I go to Stein's Deli next week the way we get so much turnover down here so <laughs> that's the truth Les Ailes Bon Ton Roule an excellent beer and I'm gonna end this review by saying you know what I'm gonna say y'all come on down to New Orleans <laughs>